Hello people! I'm going to demo some guitar cabs here. We have the Uprising, you're seeing the back off here. And we have the Radical, you're seeing the front off here and the back off here. The reason I'm showing you the back of them is because from the front they look very much like standard guitar cabs. From the back there's something unusual going on. This is what we call AVD, Augmented Vent Diffractor. And what that does is it improves the efficiency and output in the lower register whilst harvesting the mid-range and treble energy and diffracting it through a slot and giving it some extra gain through this wave guidey horn thing and sending that round the room and because you're in rooms however big they are as venues the sound reflects and eventually comes back to you and it makes for a bigger toe and a bigger sound fuller richer. It seems to almost be universally liked by every guitarist who tries them, so there must be something good going on. And I wanted to explain also why there's different stuff going on with these two cabs. So as you can see, this one here is vertical 212. That's the Uprising 212V. And this one here is a horizontal 212, so we call it the Radical 212H. They can both be had with a wide variety of different Celestian drivers directly from us. Standard is the Celestian Vintage 30, giving them 120 watts power handling. Standard wiring is 16 ohms, but we can wire them in parallel for 4 ohms if you prefer. And because of the way acoustics works, we had to approach things slightly differently with the vertical and the horizontal caps. Now, the horizontal one is designed to be sort of Marshall 100 watt head width, so you can fit your big heads on and hopefully replace a big hefty 412 with something that has a similarly big weighty sound but that actually is more audible in the real world and yeah sounds better just better tone in more real scenarios as opposed to sometimes sounding good and sometimes not sounding as good and you're just writing it off as oh that room didn't sound so good so we're trying to help you when the room acoustics aren't in your favour. This augmented vent diffractor on the Radical is only behind one of the speakers because we're trying to optimise the dispersion pattern. What we want with sound is to have wide horizontal dispersion because rooms are wide and we want enough vertical dispersion because obviously we're taller than the cabs and people are at different heights things like that but we don't want masses of vertical dispersion really because that just ends up in lots of floor and ceiling bounce which tends to muddy the sound whilst walls are further away so the reflections are later they don't, they don't cause such a, a muddying effect um, and the wall reflections they aren't so closely stacked whilst floor and ceiling reflect, reflections all happen at very similar frequencies so on this radical cab it's designed so that only one of the speakers is running truly full range to give us wide dispersion, like a line array, we call that our barefaced line array crossover, and the other speaker is putting out plenty of sound, but it's not putting out the treble frequencies at which it would conflict with this speaker and narrow the dispersion pattern. This is a really big problem in guitar cabs, that the your horizontal 2x12, 4x12 cabs get very beamy, in the upper mid range and treble frequencies. So, by having this bareface line array crossover, counterintuitively, we've actually improved the treble audibility by blocking the treble from this speaker and letting this one get on with producing it. Because otherwise, what happens is it's treble from there, treble from there, they meet, they're out of phase depending on where you're standing, they clash, they subtract, and you end up with a comb filtering effect as well as um, this thing that happens according to wave theory, which is that bigger sound sources beam at lower frequencies and you don't want beaming, you want your sound to go everywhere so you can hear it where you are. That is why we're only taking the AVD mids and highs off one of the speakers because we want that optimal dispersion at the back. This reflex port here is not just acting on this speaker, what it's doing is this acts as a reflex port at low frequencies, this also acts as a reflex port, and between the two of these it tunes the cab to the frequency we want it to work. So both speakers are producing lows, both speakers are interacting with this AVD in the lows and this reflex port in the lows, so it's not that the box is divided into two halves, that's a, an, 
obvious assumption to make, but it, it's not what's happening. Um, because the lows are weightier than from a seal 212, and certainly a lot weightier than from a, an open back 212, there is an option to flick this switch in here to cut the lows. So that's a nice, simple, passive low cut filter that is an option for you to use. Right, this one, the uprising, is essentially like our single 12 cap, the Reformer 112, but vertically stacked, a pair of them in an enclosure, and consequently we've got the large AVD running top to bottom, because we can have the output from both, cap, both speakers without them conflicting and causing a narrowing of lateral dispersion. So, more simple design really than, than, than this one, we don't have the extra crossover. It is uh, one benefit of it being a tall cab is we can put tilt and roll wheels and a handle on it. It would be silly to have tilt and roll on this because it's not going to work for anyone who's more than about seven years old and we don't have a lot of seven year old customers. Um, yeah, so that's it. We've got the uprising, the radical. They're designed to sound as similar as possible. We've got those sort of same tonal goals. Um, same dispersion goals, bottom end, things like that. The corollary of them being different um, is that despite those aims, they do sound slightly different to each other. So Louis is going to demonstrate that, or Louis has demonstrated that, depending on how we edit this together. And what I would say is what we have noticed with these cabs is that the radical probably suits chunkier stuff. Um, the radical probably suits the sort of things that you are more likely to have the wide head. The reasoning behind having a horizontal 212 and a vertical 212, the overwhelming reason is that I think it looks terrible putting a massive wide head on a narrow cab. I, a, a small amount of overhang is, is, is tolerable if it looks right. You know, if it looks right, it looks right. If it sounds right, it sounds right. End of the day, we're, we're making music, people come to see us playing music, so there is an aesthetic, there is a visual aspect to this. That's why the cabs have to be made to look nice as well. They can't just sound nice. Um, yeah, but they are two subtly different beasts. I would generally recommend you, if you've got a narrow head that fits on an uprising, get an uprising. If you've got a wide head that will fit better on a radical, get a radical. But you may notice other subtleties in these demos that, that lead you one way or the other. I'm not going to say too much about them, I'll let you, uh, the demos and the mic do their thing. And if you want to hear more, ask us for more and more demos will come. So, thank you. Enjoy the guitaring.
Radical.